We also took advantage of the weather and um, put the bucket on the tractor and dumped some gravel, not gravel, some compaction rock out around this water, which it hasn't ever had. And that should uh, harden up over the next few days, as well as the one way out there where the goats are out there drinking. We put compaction rock around that one. I'm walking out to um, show you the third thing that we did as well as putting out uh, some round bales of hay and collecting more white plastic for a recycling project I've got for the garden. But I have a nanny out here and I know she's had babies before that I'm a little bit I'm being watchful. so. I thought I'd talk and walk at the same time. We have a, a fence line out uh, east of where I'm, north of where I'm walking from, and uh, it got piled up uh, with, oh, I don't know, dirt and who knows. Anyway, as Jerry calls it, the dirt hill. So he actually went out there and got about three loads of dirt to put in the biggest hole that we have in our uh, roadway back here from the yeah, from our Starling Road out to our barn. And we drive this frequently in order to uh, get the hay out of the barn. So we put some dirt here to kind of fill in that hole a little bit. And we'll get more out here as it goes along. So here we are at the barn. Let's see what's going on with the goats. Okay, I see her over there on the hay hill. It's the dapple one. You get the sun in my eyes. It's the dark one to the right. And that's kind of where I left her earlier. I'll be back out here checking on her again. Jeannie taking a nap. We also put some rock way out here on this water that has a low spot. And we have like a, I don't know, three or four uh, foot wide apron around each of those tires so that it uh, stays, uh, you know, the cows have something to walk on. They're not making uh, mud, pounding, uh, mud pies with their feet and all that kind of stuff. So. Not bad for having a good day and having the wind going like, uh, I don't know, 30 miles an hour. It's pretty scary last night. We, uh, we were in the middle of two different tornado watches and uh, didn't get to, well, I woke up. Jerry was still awake, but neither he or Robert got to bed before 3 in the morning. And then we, you know, your normal alarm clock wakes you up and whatever. So. We were able to get some some things done today with the wind, and uh, all in all, that makes it a good day. Thanks for coming with us, and we'll bring you on the next video. Hello, viewers. Welcome back to Butler Family Farm. This is Susan, and I've got Mama number three um, on video right now. I'm going to try and get as close as I can. Robert and I are out in the fields 9, 10, and 11 checking fence so that we can open up 11, let the cows, the herd go out there. But this is our newest mama, and she is a new mama. This is her first year calving, and she's got her little baby following behind her. She's trying to uh, catch up and get in with the herd and um, let me stop and I have to watch where I'm walking because the ground's so soft the cows have left a lot of marks so I'm going to put on pause and catch up with her and turn, you, turn the camera back on. The little baby just went underneath her. This is I think Jerry will correct me. But I think this is all like sage out here, this brown top stuff. So um, it's kind of hard to see, but Mama's a black Angus and she was born 
on the farm. Um, don't remember her mother. Oh, her mother was, I don't remember her mother, but I believe her father was Leroy. And then the little baby's just bouncing around in front of her. So I'm watching them, and I should be watching through the camera to make sure I'm not cutting anything off. And then this is uh, mama number two for 2023. And that was a couple days ago. Um, so we've got three babies out here right now. Mm -hmm. 